Hello, it's me, it's Ann, I'm back. Yes, the face is already on. I'm doing some a, a kind of a project for the first couple of months where I'm catching up. I've got a whole collection of tags that I've got on my computer that I've got all the questions and all that, but I just haven't done them. And I think it's about time I got on with it. Anyway, this first one I'm doing, and yes, you're going to see a bunch of makeup and clothes and stuff that's all the same. Because I'm not changing. Not for these. Anyway, I decided to do the glasses tag. There was some talk on a couple of channels like... Um, Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips and Abby Williams and we're, we're, they were going on about why people seem to be afraid to show their glasses when they're doing their videos. And it's like, this is a permanent thing for me. If I take these off, I literally have to do this to see what I'm looking at. If I'm doing close work, I take my glasses off because they don't magnify enough. At least not currently. Anyway, question one, nearsighted or farsighted? I think I just covered that. Like I said, if I'm doing close work, I'm doing this. If I was doing my makeup so that I could actually see what I was doing, the mirror would be like this, like it was in the very beginning before I figured out I was going to have to learn a different way to do it. If I'm trying to see something at any kind of a distance, these have got to be on. I've also got an astigmatism in this eye that came because of an injury. So without my glasses on, anything that I'm looking at with just this eye is all broken up in little lines, which makes it real interesting. Two, how often do you wear glasses? From the minute I get up until the minute I go back to bed. I will take them off once in a while. I'm okay to like wander from the bed to the bathroom. I can even make a sandwich without my glasses on. It may take me a while to find what I'm looking for to put on it. But. I can do it. Okay? Okay. My husband's worse. He takes his glasses off. He can't find his way to the next room. Or barely can. He, if he takes his glasses off, he's legally blind. Three, how long have you been wearing glasses? Since I was 14. So that's been a minute. Four, have you ever been teased for wearing glasses? Let me remind you, I started wearing them at 14. High school was a great deal of fun. Because when I first got them, everybody had to take a shot. My little dog is under the desk which means the camera may shake. I know the light is shaking. Mm. Have you, number five, have you ever debated getting LASIK? I started debating LASIK. Penny, go away. 
He's got his little sharp toy under there, and he carries it around with him, and he's currently having a fight with his little sharp toy. Anyway, I forgot to put my lippy on. That was silly. While he's shaking the camera, I'll put my lippy on. Yes, my lips are a little bit pink. Anyway, I've got a lip oil that I put on that's got a bare pink tint. But I'm trying to do things like use up some of my lipsticks. And this is, I've actually got two of these. This is the Bite Glossé. And I've got two of those because I got one in a bag and then I got one in a friend box. So there you go. Anyway, back to the lacing. Debated it? Oh, heck yes. And knock it off under there. Working with my budget. And the fact that my insurance won't cover it. Yeah, not happening anytime soon. Not this girl. How many pairs do you have to with the same prescription? I've got this pair that I wear yeah, relatively often. And then I've got the other pair that if you've been watching a while, you've probably seen it's the white and black ones that are really square and kind of small and and really really intense for frame so i don't get a lot of you know eye real estate under that particular pair of glasses Number seven, best mascara. I don't have a best mascara, but as long as the mascara dries fairly quickly, so I can put my glasses on, and is more interested in volume than length, so that you're not brushing your lenses and leaving black streaks, that's a good one. You have to kind of figure out for yourself, though, because everybody's glasses sit differently. So, you know, you have to figure it out. Number eight, false lashes. False lashes. These little shorties are the Cara Beauty S2s, better known as short. They are short. It's kind of, I use them, again, like the mascara, I use them for volume, not length. I've got some long lashes that I use for certain looks that I'll do on here. But since I don't have contacts, I can't wear them down the street. I would like to have contacts. We'll have to see if I can afford them. Question nine, best base for minimum transfer onto your glasses. You know, the going from your nose to your nose bridge. I got to tell you, I have never yet found a particular foundation that does me any good. What I do is throw extra powder on here 
for one thing, if your glasses start sliding, they'll glide easier. And they'll glide easier going back up. And you don't you end up with a little powder on the nose bridge instead of big wads of cream makeup. So, yeah, I put some extra powder under here. Nobody's going to see it anyway. All right? Ten, what is one misconception people have about wearing glasses and makeup? The biggest misconception is that you might as well wear boring makeup because they're not going to see it anyway. I bet you you can see this makeup. I'll bet it. Because I can look at my monitor and I can see it. It's going to show up on camera. People will be able to see your eye makeup. Number 11. Tricks for, tricks for making your makeup more visible behind your frame. Go ham. If you think you've got enough color on, throw another layer on. Go for it. There is no reason to be boring behind glasses. And if you're trying to do a really spectacular look, you want people to be able to see it. The other thing is, is depending on the size of your frames and the way they sit, you may not have that much real estate up here, but you've got a lot down here. Blow that monkey out. Blow it out. If you've got a serious smoky eye going on, blow it out. You can go down farther this way. And show the color. Now with my black and white lenses, I don't have as much real estate in either direction. So I just go with the brightest colors I can come up with. It works. Anyway, that is the end of this particular tag. I will see you in the next one.